Hi, this is Hamza, and I'm going to be showcasing and demoing the uh, network-based game that we've made. Um, so if you go to the solution that you have, you can build it and make sure you're building in release mode and 64-bit platform. And once you have it built, you can run the uh, server first and then the client. I have it set up so that it runs the server and then the client launches. So once you run it, it'll start the server and then the game will start and your character will spawn. Uh, you can move him around with WASD, so D and A rotate the character and then W and S will move it forward and backwards. You can also shoot a ball with the space key and if I want to add another player you can start a new instance here and it'll spawn them in a random spot so you can see here that it the player will move on both screens here and there is client side prediction for the player controlled character you can see it moves slightly uh, more smoothly than it does on the other client and you can also shoot each other with the ball here if it gets too close then the player will go away and he can't move around or anything until he presses the R key which will spawn him back in a random spot and when you do the uh, ball with the space key that's using um, it's calculating the position by using the velocity over time and so it's using the dead reckoning method of predicting and you can also add two more clients to this so the limit is four clients so if I see here it's added a new client and he can move around on the base here and you can add just one more So here you can see we have four characters all moving on one screen and you can shoot the characters, they'll go away and depending on which one that was, this one you press the R key and you respawn. So what's going on in the uh, actual code here is uh, most on the client side most of the stuff is happening in this networking folder here the UDP client and if you go down here uh, every frame it's activating the update and which activates the receive method and down here I'm deserializing all the data that's being sent from the server um, so it's getting the position of all the players it's getting the um, the projectile data as well, the velocity and if it's active um, and in the main file here if I go down to where it says players and network processing this is where um, I'm doing a lot of the uh, networking uh, sort of lerping the positions and as well as lerping the rotation of the character and the client side prediction of the player character is happening in this physics input handler so down here you can see these are my, the buffer that I'm sending to the server and the client moves uh, as a prediction based on what the player entered in but then that's being uh, uh, lerped once the position is updated on the server when you do the set position here And then on the server side, the game server.cpp, this is where the processing is happening. So this is the constructor where it's creating the network. Um, and then down here, once it gets called updates, after a certain uh, refresh rate, it's going to um, update the player positions and then check if any of the projectiles are close enough to any of the other players. And if they are, that player's uh, status is not alive anymore. Down here, this is where I'm broadcasting every uh, 5 hertz, so uh, 5 times a second. I'm getting the position of all the players. 
and the projectiles and I'm sending it to the client with the actual ID of the client as well so that the client knows which player to control and this is where I'm getting the data from the client um, so there is server reconciliation if you go back to the network client here there's client side reconciliation as well um, so here I'm checking if the state is a previous state or not based on what it got from the server if it's a previous state it's already processed so it just ignores uh, that data and same with here the player is sending request IDs and if the request ID is less than what it's already received then it, it'll just return so that's the gist of it and the projectiles here are being updated based on the velocity you can see here so the prediction uh, it, it looks smooth on screen but as I get the data I'll update the position anyway so it'll look smooth and that's it for now thank you